hello. We it's get... the new year, maybe. Oh, it is the new year. By the How time you're that? listening to this. What did you say? By the time you're listening to this, maybe. Who knows? Yeah, you unless you're some... like really early to the punch, you're probably not going to listen to this until the year is 2022. Yeah, yeah. Unless we have some immediate listeners. You can probably hear Navi out there going pretty crazy. He's very excited. He's very happy to ring in the new year. He He is just over exuberant right now probably has uh, one of those dog boners you know he's he's over the edge here yeah no i mean they're gone but uh but he uh he can still get those sometimes when oh he, yeah when he, he can... poops particularly hard yeah he gets excited real easy but it's okay because you know what that's fine it's a lot of cl- i don't judge clenching him. you know so for those of you that have listened to this show before uh more specifically, listen to our New Year's episodes of years past. Yeah, there's been two of these. We have a little mini tradition here, okay? And this is, it's sort of a, a fun way to celebrate the three-year anniversary of the show. Um, we are, yeah, we're past that by a couple days now. How about yeah, that? Yeah, Christmas was the day, yeah, three years. How Congrats. about that? Congrats, congrats to you. The inception of this show is a little bit older than... Uh, I don't know what lives for like three years, like a muskrat maybe. I don't know. And like a hamster, or yeah, something like that. Maybe like some sort of frog. We've spanned the lifespan of some type of creature out there, and we have plenty of episodes for you guys to go back and listen to. Yeah, it's great. But what we do here, for some reason, I'm not even sure where this came from, but we do do our annual predictions for the year 2022. I think this came from us having a very, very dry spell when it came to creativity. Yeah, and it worked. It, it actually spawned a great tradition for us. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Um, kind of weird when it comes true, but, you know. I say, I actually, you know, I'm not certain. I don't think we've ever gotten one right. No, but I, uh, the first one, I said Betty White, and look what happened today. Yeah. Isn't that just awful? Betty White's dead. I don't know if you guys are aware of that, but she's dead. Rip, yeah. Um, I haven't gone on the internet because I'm just afraid to see. It's like we can't escape it. Like, what was this, like two weeks ago? It was all Spider-Man. You're still getting residual Spider-Man shit. Yeah. It's nonstop. And it's it's like, come on, I'm over it. Let's go move on. But no, we don't do that here. Um, I assume Betty White is only going to be bigger and less funny because it probably won't be a lot of memes. There, there's going to be a lot of memes. I'm a little, I feel, upset. you know, the the internet's kind of in that place now. I, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a little upset that there was a significant lack of Alec Baldwin memes when that happened. Yeah, yeah. I feel like people get touchy around the gun thing. I think it would have been prime prime eligibility there, but we we didn't go for it. It, you know what? It is what it is, but they're definitely going to make up for that with some Betty White shit. I can promise yeah, you. Yeah. So we do uh, our annual, you know, who we think might have a chance of dying. We're in no way wishing that these people die, but we're just saying no. that there's a likelihood that it occurs. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Like, if if we were to get it right, I feel like we wouldn't be happy. We'd just be like, oh my god, oh, I wow, was we right. Hit that one. You know. But we typically break it into a couple different categories, and then I figure this year, why not? We don't even have to make it a death prediction thing, specifically. We can go as far as to just talk about what 2020 might bring around for us. What are we, you know, what are we thinking? Yeah. So I say we'll start. We'll start with the easy ones. All right. We'll start with what we call the shoo-ins. The shoo-ins. These people, their likelihood of death, literally only increases. Hour by hour, uh, they're they're on the cusp of life, and it's not looking great for them. Pretty much, you know. Yeah, that's where we're at. Yeah. Um, number one, I I'm not gonna lie to you. I have not even looked to see if this individual is still alive. I'm thinking he's still alive, but I'm gonna go with Jimmy Carter. I'm pretty sure he's Jimmy still alive, Carter, right? Jimmy Carter. Let me let me look. I think he double check that he's one of very few living presidents. And now that George Sr. is dead, I'm pretty sure that number has actually only gone lower. And I think it's Carter, Clinton, Bush, Obama, and Trump. I'm pretty certain that's all that's alive. Wow. Uh, yeah, Jimmy Carter's alive, and he's 97. Yeah, so I, my, my number one shoe-in this year is none other than Jimmy Peanut Man Carter. How about that? Excellent. All right. Well, That's, that's the shoe-in. Yeah. 
The, you know, I, I guess the president last year, Biden, and I still I think it's going to happen this year, but I feel like that's cheating. I can't do you know the same guy fair, two years in a row. We still have roughly six and a half hours, and it like that I said, would be the odds of that bet would be astounding if it was a real one. Yeah, that's like true. come on, it's like he's going to die before midnight tonight. <laughs> It would be Dude, a that, crazy call. Those Vegas odds are probably incredible. Oh, You can amazing. bet a dollar and win hundreds of thousands. One to ten million. It's crazy. Uh. So, no, so we're leaving him off. He might not be off the list entirely, but we're, the shoe probably not. I, I think that's fair. We'll just have him assumed. He's got the – he has, like, access to probably the best medicine in the universe. So – I feel like the numbers for a living president, like actively president, they're always going to be buffed a little bit in the in the negatives. Probably, you know? yeah, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. I was I was thinking of a very specific man, and I could I couldn't remember his name. So hang on, just one second, just one second. Yeah. Keep busy. I need I need to type this in, man. It's not a problem because there's a lot of people that seem like they could die in a year. I'll go ahead and I'll go throw out my other shoe in while oh. Jake's going. Oh no, he's got he's got I, it. I think I might have it. It's the guy who played Bilbo in the fucking uh, Lord of the Rings. Because I just looked at him I don't know who the fuck for the that first time. <laughs> he looks insane. Wait a minute, Freeman. Uh, no, Freeman. Freeman was in the Hobbit movies. It's Ian Holm. Ian Holm, dude. He looks insane. He might be dead already. I actually haven't looked. He, he's he on died. His way. He died in twenty twenty. I should have guessed him then. Oh, fuck. Damn it. All right, so we're off again. All right, I'm just going to say Willie Nelson. Willie Nelson. He's Willie Nelson, player. you know. He's a, he, I got to see, this year's a good year for the shoe ones because I feel like COVID is really bumping up the chances here. Yeah, and it's spreading like wildfire. And, like, there's a lot of people out there that, I mean, similar to Betty White, they've been on that cusp, you know, for a while. So He's been hanging on. This might be the push that, that sadly takes it over. I don't <laughs> the know. The push. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw this one out there. I'm going to say the queen. I don't think she lives until the next new year. The queen. Dude, I th- she probably is already dead. Yeah, I've been hearing that a lot. You know, I'm not I, sure I fully details. buy into that. I, I think fully it's be. plausible. I don't see why it's it's ridiculous to think that. Yeah, dude, you can't declare that during Christmas time. It's going to shut down the whole country, and your country financially is going to suffer. That you want is what, true. And she would want what's best for the country. That's that is true. They're going to announce it in the new year. I'm going to go ahead and say I'm thinking. My personal opinion is she's still breathing at this moment, but it, by the end of 2022, that will cease to happen. Uh, they might take her brain or something, so that doesn't count. If if she physically dies, it's over. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, that's she's definitely part of the shoe in group for me. There's no way to say she's not. Um, I, I think got, she's already gone. I have one final shoe in, okay? And th- this one can kind of go in the middle category, which is like the the 50-50. You know, it's like they could, maybe they won't. I don't know. But I, I, I feel as if he's going to be bumped, and I'm going to say Tim Curry. I'm, I'm going with Tim Curry. He's still alive? As far as I know, I, he's still alive. He's Jesus. Because like, he, he's in like a wheelchair. He's got like a bunch of like health problems. I'm thinking... If he's, I, I, honestly, I don't know if he's still alive at this point, but if he is. He is. He's 75. I'm thinking, see, he's like in the 50 50. He might, he might not, but I'm putting him in the shoe in. I'm thinking it's coming. He's the long shot shoe in. You know? All right. Yeah. No, he's makes the sense. hybrid. He's the hybrid category. But I, I, it's sad to say, I don't think he makes it. I just don't. I, I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what life is like for him. But, uh, I, I just I don't think so. I don't think it's going to. You know work. what? Well, let's hope we, he proves us wrong. Unless he wants that, then you know, prediction. Yeah, there you go. Those are my shoes. You got any more uh, people that were pretty positive? Aren't Not really. Surprised? I was just very appalled by a picture of Ian Holmes that I saw, and he he looks just he looks like he was asleep. He was on the red carpet. He's but, ran- um, he looks rancid. Yeah, and then you know, Willie Nelson. That's kind of a go to if you ask just like a random person like this question like who do you think is going to die this year i he's assume a lot of them would say willie nelson yeah he's definitely up you there. know there's no doubt he's he's in that he's in that stratosphere of like yeah he could go at any second yeah but I no th- like those are the only two i had i feel like we have, have a, as a nation have accepted that willie nelson died about 15 years ago and like when he reappears you're just like oh yeah hey he's not dead it's another hologram situation 
Okay, okay. So the shoe-ins are wrapped up. We got uh, Jimmy Carter. We got uh, already previously dead Ian Holmes or Holm. Um, we got Willie Nelson. We got the Queen, who may or may not be dead at this very minute. I think she is. Um, Tim Curry, and now, well, and then yeah, Joe Biden, but he's he's always he's assumed. Yeah, he's assumed. He's he's always up there. I think the president, is, like I was just saying, you know, with the medicine. But I feel like maybe that gets off put by the potential assassination, and you pretty much. You think it's going to come to that this year? I don't think so. I really feel like the days of presidential assassinations are done. Uh, it's just it's simply just too difficult, you know. I'd imagine, yeah. I mean, like you think about like back when JFK died in the '60s, the just the overall manhunt that ensued. Um, and, you know, whatever you fall into in the JFK category, which is an interesting topic in and of itself. Yeah, that'll be a huge thing for some other time. Yeah, because that's going to take some, some delving into. But it, that long ago, I mean, we're talking 60, almost 60 years ago. It's going to be 59 years in November. Um, it, it, even that was just extreme. Then you got, like, Reagan when they tried to shoot him. It didn't even work. That was huge. <laughs> it didn't fucking work. Literally everywhere you go, there are cameras, there's security, there's top-notch shit being monitored at all times of the day. There's just street cameras that have a box around your face the moment you see it. Yeah, so the the idea of a presidential assassination, obviously the the odds are much lower than in previous years, but you can never fully rule it out because there are some crazy people, you know? Yeah, I mean... Maybe the way to actually successfully do it is to do it in the craziest way possible, which is just running up and shooting them. Yeah, that's pretty much you know? what it'll have to be. It's like, no one will do this. They'll surely be caught. It's like, I don't think they care. But yeah, so I, they, they, they kind of off-put each other. Then They're back to neutral. But the president, obviously, regardless of who it is, always has a target on their head. So it's a fair assumption that they're always in the list because it's like yeah. it could happen at any time. No, yeah. Um. Okay, then we'll move into the 50-50s. This is where I would say my list is probably the heftiest. This is where I have the most people. Really? Because um, in the past, we've only done like one or two maybe or something, so I didn't really prepare a, a plethora. See, I got a couple because they they can kind of go into either or. This is like the middle ground. This is like they very easily could die, and we would accept that, or they don't, and it's like, yeah, that's that's just what it is. Um I would say number one, we're sticking with the politics game here. I'm going Bill Clinton. He just does not look good. Oh yeah, he is kind of looking, uh, kind of like a ghoul lately. He, he looks absolutely unhealthy and the ghoul that he is, incredibly sick. Um, and I, I think his percentage was boosted from long shot back into this category simply because of the Ghislaine Maxwell ruling and. Yeah. You can't really get into that topic with for for some reason Bill Clinton is like the number one politician on any of those lists. Uh, maybe because he was just a sex crazed guy and that yeah. was just his thing. Cigars and things. But that definitely bumped him up a couple percenti because uh, that's just not good. It's not good for PR in any way. Yeah, Bill no, Clinton. That's true. He's officially on the chop block. Like he is, he's becoming a loose end at a certain point in time. Wow. And uh, so I think we could we could maybe see him not make it to the next year. That's what I think. Well, God damn it. That is my bet. I'm going to go All ahead right. and place that on him. All right. Um, I got a, I got this one. You know, maybe I'll save this one for the long shot because I have no reason to suspect they're unhealthy. Okay. Um, you want to just save it to then or? Yeah, I'll save right. that one because I don't want to. I don't want to confuse the listener yeah. and be like, "He thinks this is going to happen." I, I don't think so. Yeah, dude, we were talking about this earlier. Uh, like uh, John Madden dying a couple like days ago or something. Mm. It was like a week ago. Where would you have put him if you thought to put him on the list? Because we were talking about it, like we never really think of him. It's like a real dude. He's just the video game guy. Yeah, I'll be completely honest. Like I. Your duck and father. I think I said this before. I, I truly didn't know that he was still alive. Like, I just never... For some reason, he's the one famous name that I never, ever thought of existing. Yeah. Um, I probably... 
I'd probably put him in like the 50 50 because I don't, I, he wasn't that That's what old, I was thinking, I don't yeah. Think, right? Like, he was, was he 75 or was he 85? I don't know. Here, let me look that up. He wasn't like, at least what I recall, I don't think he was incredibly old. And I mean, I guess I had no reason to suspect uh, anything going awry in his existence. So I probably, he might have even been a long shot if I uh, just were to guess. Yeah, but uh, you know that's the point of the game. You know, you never know who's going to oh, go. Oh shit, he was eighty-five. Ah, uh, okay. So that he, is, <laughs> fuck, no, dude. He's, he certainly would have landed in the damn fifty. He had a good run for a guy who literally invented like an abomination of a meal. Yeah, I was, the turducken. You can, I've it's had like gross. one once. And it's it probably was, delicious. It's it really wasn't. It's just the idea kind of seems disrespectful in a way. Yeah, it, it's the ultimate <laughs> fuck you, you know, in nature. It's, it's like, like you're gonna stitch all these things, fucking flesh together, and cook it and eat it. And they're like, it's, it's not the worst thing that's ever like been created, but it's certainly no, not no. the greatest. Yeah, dude, have you ever seen the snickle? The snickle. Yeah, it's just the Snickers inside of a pickle. Well, who the fuck would want that? I think it's a shit post, but it it's it's in the ether. I'm mad now. Someone's had to that? have tried that. Come on. Who in God's name would want that? John Madden, maybe. Maybe. Um, ooh, ooh, in the in the spirit of John Madden, you know, rest in peace, my yeah. dude. In the spirit of that, I'm going to add one to the 50-50 that it just kind of occurred to me recently. I'm thinking we lose Bob Costas this year. What? I don't think he's that old, but he really hasn't been around. Like, he's not doing the commentary... As far as I recall, he wasn't like a part of the Olympics, uh, the Olympic thing they did last year. Really? So I'm thinking that he might just be like so just devastated with the loss of his career that I'm thinking he might not make it very long. He's only 69 years old. I'm just saying, I'm I'm putting him in there. All right. He's okay. in the, see, he's about no. I mean, it is 50 50. So yeah, that makes sense. All he's right. about a 70 percent long shot. But somehow the the negative bump to his career just plummets him down even farther. All right. Because I right. can't see him doing anything else but talking. And he's too old. People don't want to hear him now, you know? Yeah. There, and there's so many older ones, right? Like a couple of the guys Probably. on like regular Sunday night football or something like that, like yeah, I bet you Al Michael. There's a lot of gray old. hair in there. He's probably damn if he's not seventy, he's close as hell. Oh Jesus. But yeah, Bob Costas, I'm going fifty fifty on him. I'm I'm thinking it's gonna happen. Uh I'm not saying I again, this sounds bad. We don't want these people to die. No, not at all. But you can't avoid death. And the fifty fifty if you have to pick a place to be, it's probably where you want to be because you're already sort of preparing for that to happen. If you're in the long shot, you don't want that because it's like no one knew. Yeah. Those are the Kobe Bryant's the Ryan Dunn's, just the random deaths that are just like, holy shit, that guy's dead? Yeah. He was like 30. It's like, that's so sad. Uh, but yeah, so the Bob Costas certainly lands in my 50-50. Um, mm-hmm. well, who do you think for this, Jake? Who do you got? For 50-50? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It tends to lean one way over the other yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, but... yeah, um, mm. you know, I was kind of thinking uh, Anthony Hopkins. Ooh. You know? Because, like, he seems, based on the videos we've seen of him on, like, Instagram or TikTok or whatever it was, he's uh, pretty jovial and active, but he is old as shit. No, oh, yeah, he you is. You know what I mean? He is. Sir Anthony Hopkins is an old Sir fucking Anthony man. Sir Anthony Hopkins. He, If you're an actor and you were, like, given an honorary title and knighted, you're clearly really good at your job. Like, you're just yeah. clearly outstanding. Um, but yeah, I, I would be sad to see him go. I'm not going to lie. Just cause yeah. it's time, you know I mean? He's not going to be in any revolutionary roles, you know, now. I mean, like he's still in movies and they mm-hmm. oftentimes get like, uh, you know, chosen to be like a part of it. Like the, 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 the end, Oscars. Yeah. The Oscars yeah, or whatever. Believe, the he, ceremony. I think he won an Oscar not too long ago. It was maybe like a year or two, maybe three years ago. Yeah. He won something. It was like him and Meryl Streep. I believe yeah I yeah i think there were like a couple or something in a movie yeah i could be wrong um that that's a he's a fair put because it's like you know, you know it, it, it's a rough one um i would say still in 50 50 sticking with the actor's idea i'm gonna go helen mirren the old woman 
Oh. I there's something I, I'm I'm getting nervous. I'm thinking she's gonna go. Um, to be honest, I don't really know her from much. I that movie with all the old people in it. I watched that. All um, the old people. Was that in Red? It. Yeah. That movie was pretty good. <laughs> Dude, I just saw Bruce Willis and who's that? It's uh John Malkovich. Uh, who else is in that movie? Helen Mirren. I know she's in it. Oh shit! Wait a minute. Oh, Morgan Freeman. Yes. Anyway, how did I forget that guy? Yeah, Richard Dreyfuss. Are you shitting me? And it, that movie is better than The Expendables, and I will die on that hill because The Expendables could have been way better, but they just made it super lame. And Red and Red Two are both very good movies for what they are. Yeah, there you go. And I'm not even a Bruce Willis guy, but you know what? He sells it. He sells what I'm buying. Oh, she was in Monsters University. No way. Yeah, and National Treasure. Oh, she is a national treasure. Though. There you go. It's so as simple as 50/50 that. 50-50 for you. Yeah, Helen. Helen Mirren, I'm sorry, but you make you make the 50-50 list. There's nothing personal on that. It's just I'm I'm you're making me nervous over there. You know, you're making me nervous. What are you doing over there? Um, let's see. I think I believe I have one more 50-50 I could throw in. Um, and then we we'll, don't worry. We're going to get to the fun category where we could just start throwing out names and yeah. reasons why. Oh, wait, one more thing. Oh, go she's going to be in Harry Potter Hogwarts something uh, last year. Damn it. It already happened. Well, she's still actively doing shit is what I mean. Yeah, she's still around. And it's Harry Potter, so it's cool. She makes her rounds. I'll, I'll give her that. She's making the rounds. I'm, I'm hoping that I'm wrong in all of these 50-50s um, because it, they would be losses. I'm not going to lie. We went big this year, you yeah. know? We need a Fast and Furious 10, and she was just in the ninth one. That is true. That You know, that's a good point. I didn't even think about that. Exactly. Um. Hmm. I had one more. I, why can't? Why am I losing it now? It must have not been that important because I clearly can't remember who the other fifty-fifty should have been. So let's just pick one. Um, who's someone really old and that's been around for Tommy Lee Jones? <laughs> oh no, Tommy we need, Black. Dude, we need more Japanese commercials. There's something about him. I feel, I I don't know what he's up to, but I I I'm getting nervous. I guess. And yeah, Tommy Lee Jones. He's the final. He's yeah. the fill-in. You know. Dude, how is Clint Eastwood still alive? I'm just thinking of old Ooh. actors now. How is he still like a, a thing? That's a good one. I was thinking about him last night. How he's fucking old. Yeah, dude. He just you know the face on the uh, the cover of the Outlaw Josie Wales that he makes on the cover yeah, of that yeah. movie. That's just how he's gritting through life. I think he's just intimidating death away. Yeah, he's just like, you can't kill me. I yell at chairs. <laughs> that was the most unhinged fucking video I've ever seen. Yeah, he's just, it's like I get, I kind of get the point that he was trying to make. It's like he was back in his first days of acting doing like an exercise in high school. Yeah, it's an improv you know, class. Like, <laughs> so like you, someone sitting in this chair. Oh, yes, Mr. President. Yeah, Clint Eastwood. He, I, you know what? I think he can make. It. I'm gonna replace him with Tommy Lee Jones. Um, or actually, I said that backwards. Backwards. I'm replace yeah, the other way. Tommy Lee Jones with Clint Eastwood. Yeah, there you go. It's simply because, again, it's just the ravages of time. They're making their way up to him, and he, he's he's gonna have to answer at some point. You it's know? true. Yeah. So that wraps that one up. Now I'm, we, think, I'm thinking of one more 50-50. Oh, ooh, okay, okay, I like this. How about this? What do we got? Stephen King. Ooh, okay. You know, because he's still pretty sort of young, right? A little bit. I'm gonna I, look I him think up. so. He's he doesn't got, look bad. He's you know, probably early to mid sixties is my guess. Or no, maybe seventy. I'm th- he might be might be seventy. Let's see. Let's see. I I really don't know, but yeah, he he looks decent for his age. Seventy four. Holy shit! Okay, yeah, he God he, he looks pretty good for seventy four. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, he, uh, he yeah. looks weird. I can't. His see nostrils are flared, but he is a, he is a very strange looking man. Yeah. But it it's going. It's going. It's good. Yeah, that's a that's a fair addition because you know what he's. He's got to go. He's got to go at some point, you know? Yeah. And People I think don't want it. He was in one of the recent movies that was made about one of his books. I think it was It. Yeah, it was, right? I think he was like the shopkeeper. Yeah, and he had a them. Neil Young shirt on, The Harvest or whatever. Yeah. And uh, Neil Young, maybe. You know, I was thinking of you that. You know, he's he's been looking 
He real tired old. for a real long time. He started looking old in like the 90s. So it's just been about 30 years of him looking progressively older. Yeah, he just, yeah. He's got to be 80, right? Like, he's got to be. I'll look that up. There's no way because, I mean, I, I mean, maybe he started real young, but Neil Young was real young. Oh, oh. Uh-huh, 24. There's so much more. But I, he's got to be. He's 76. Dead. Okay, so he, he, him and Stephen King are roughly the same age. They probably yeah. play backgammon together at some point. I would, yeah. Um, okay, yeah, I think we have a we have a pretty solid list of fifty fifties this year. Um, we got we're gonna hit on one of these. If we've never done that yet, we're gonna hit one. We're this doing year. a buckshot sort of approach now. Uh, I definitely think the shoe ins are gonna gather at least one. Like we cast a pretty wide net, and it's a pretty pretty acceptable net. You know, I'd say what is it like. Four, five. Oh yeah, and got it, a, it spans. Got a big space. And we pretty much stuck to people that were like ninety years or older, with maybe the exception of Tim Curry. But everyone else is on that chopping block right now. Like they're close. There you go. Um. So we'll we'll move into the final category, and this is where we just start spraying shit all over and hope something sticks. This is the long shot. Okay, who's it gonna be? Jake, crack us off a long shot this year. Usain Bolt. Oh. How about that? Wouldn't that be weird? That'd be devastating. That'd, like, what happens is what everyone would say. Yeah, they'd be like, dude, the Olympics would... I mean, I don't even... Was he... I don't think he was in the Olympics last year. Is he, like, retired? What he might he? be. Doing but, a lot of research right now. But uh, I, I I could be wrong. If if he was in it, I don't think he got gold or anything. But, yeah, that that's definitely a long shot. Because you, you picture... An Olympic athlete's going to be the pinnacle of health, you know, but sometimes there's some underlying issues that people don't, uh, you don't get to see, and it yeah. just fucking bites you right in the butt. Yeah, yeah. He's 35. He's, uh, what's he doing? 35, Yeah, huh? he's, uh, his career ended in 2017. But I'm sure he still runs very fast. I can only imagine. You know, you don't just lose that. I'm not going to lie. We're going to have to hit the pause button here for a minute. You know why? We forgot... Arguably one of the most notable ones in the shoe-in category. Okay? We have to rewind. Okay. Suck it back in. I got nervous because you said we had to pause. I was like, for real? Shoe-in time. Ozzy Osbourne. Oh, man. We've guessed him in the past. It's got to happen. That was you last year, I'm pretty sure. It was, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen. I'm just I'm sticking to the guns on this one. It's got to happen. Dude, he hasn't fallen on his face in like a couple months, dude. I think he's doing better. He hasn't even slipped on a slipper in the last calendar year, okay? Yeah. All right, we, we can go for it. That one's pretty <laughs> self-explanatory. All right, we can go. Go. Yeah. Back go to the long shots. Okay, we got Usain Bolt. Yeah. That's a good one because that's... That's one I think people really won't ever think about until it happens. You know, it's like probably Holy not. Shit, you remember that guy? Yeah, it's like he just—he's gone. No, yeah, he just left. Um, what about you? Okay, so this long shot, you might be a little bit like, well, he's—he's he's that age, maybe. You know, I'm going Michael Jordan. That's the long shot this year for me. All right. I don't know why he's—he's he's a little bit. You know, he's older, but he's not. He's old. older, and he drinks and smokes cigars a lot but he still is like a super freak athlete human yeah no he's a freak. like that was that's like in his dna and, and that's why i put him in the long shot because he's not quite at that age where i feel that he merits a full-on bet um but i i you know maybe if it were to happen there'd be part of me that's like you know what i could see that one coming like that one that that that, that makes sense yeah. imagine how many shoes he's gonna sell Oh my God! When that Can you happens, imagine? the Jordan brand will definitely take over the NBA without question. Like they will just assume the identity. It will be called Jordan Ball. Um, but yeah, that's a, he fits into the long shots for me just because, just because of his age and his overall ability, uh, you know, i.e., health. So he's he's going to be fine with that. But you know, you never know. You never know. You never can tell. Sticking with the sports-themed long shots, Tom Brady, and this one's specific. Whoa, what do you think is going to happen to him? Tom Brady, there's going to be rumors this year, right? They're going to be like, he's retiring. Like he's going to, You might make it to the Super Bowl. We don't know, but it's like, this is his year. You know, it's the last year. Broke his records. He's ready to go. No, 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 no. He's going to play next year. 
And in the middle of October, he's going to get hit so hard that he's going to have to retire. This is such an unnervingly specific prediction. He's going to have like some horrible injury, just gruesome as shit. And he's not going to die like on the field, but he's going to be really like, he's going to be in rehab. He's going to be really like not doing great. And come like between that gap between Thanksgiving and Christmas, Tom Brady will die in 2022. Wow. I narrowed it down to even a strip of time, slightly <laughs> less than a month. A strip of time. Like, I mean, we'll call it four weeks, but it's not a whole month, typically. Yeah, okay. That's a, He's a big long shot, but it, it can happen, trust me. <laughs> if that actually you. happens... <laughs> I'm going to freak out, dude. If that actually happens exactly how you've just described it, Someone's I think gonna we're going to have to money. stop doing this. <laughs> someone out there is going to have to like listen to this and send this to someone and be like, it, you just have to give these guys a couple million dollars. Like No one in the world would have guessed that happened, but we did a year in advance. We deserve compensation for that. In one full year, we will be mourning the loss of Tom Brady. You heard it here first, folks. Ah, uh, Well, that I really hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> Don't draft him in fantasy next year. He's not going to make it. I did this year, and it it sort of worked out. It, it's, it paid off pretty well, you know. But it's kind of fucking up lately. But. Next year, just don't do it because you're not you're not going to be happy with the results. I'm going to do it out of spite. I don't think you'll go negative if he dies, but I'll tell you this: you ne- he's not going to win you any games. Fantasy will shut down. Football will shut down. That one. That's the crazy long shot, but it, it's it's. I'm thinking it has an opportunity. We're talking a five to seven percent chance of that occurring. That's the highest it's ever been. Wow. Who do you got for a long shot? Who are we thinking? (laughs) Uh, Maybe. uh, Oh God. What's his name? Uh, uh, Fuck. He was in Pineapple Express. Seth Express. Rogen, he James wasn't Franco. James Franco. That's what it is. Really? Yeah, I think he's gonna die. Did he go kill himself? Uh, on accident, maybe with some maybe fentanyl in some sort of drug. It's showing up in like all sorts of drugs now. Yeah, you apparently buy, there's like, fentanyl laced weed on the streets. You buy like Tylenol, you know? and it's like, what the fuck? This is fentanyl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fentanyl is a uh, that shit'll fuck you up. I mean, yeah, like isn't a, like a needle point of that shit will be like toxic to you. I believe like it so. has to be so little to actually have like the desired effect. Yeah, no, it you literally need like nothing, and you, it'll it'll fuck you up. But uh, yeah, James Franco fentanyl. Okay, maybe okay. or something. That seems plausible. You know, he's he's kind of got that like that RT thing going on. Like he might be into the the idea of the suffering artist, uh, and he's like, ah, you know, we're gonna get into this a little bit. Bam. Fentanyl. He's dead. Yeah. Isn't that so tragic? I mean, yeah, but, you know, that's why it's the long shot. Isn't he a sex offender, too? Like, wasn't he teaching a class or some sort of thing where he was, like, feeling up chicks' uh, chests? I have no idea. I know he did something that uh, the people were not big on. I don't really know the whole story, but I know a lot of, pretty much everyone, like, cut ties with him. I don't think he's yeah. like, around much. Some sort of assaulter. Yeah, he did. He definitely did something that... Uh, to be honest, like I said, I, I really don't know what he did, but he's certainly not as famous or in anywhere near as popular as he was but just a mere few years ago. There you go. All right, going downhill. James Franco on the list. Fentanyl. Boom. Um, who's another long shot you got here? All right, let's think. The Bruce hmm. from Jaws, the shark. You know what's weird is right when you said the word Bruce, I was thinking Bruce Campbell. Really? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can see because he still looks good. Like he just started to gray like heavily. Yeah, like, he's, he's gray now fully, but it's like it's it's pretty new. He really leaned into the idea of like semi retirement. Yeah, like, he's certainly flourishing in that. But yeah, I can see it. He's got that. I don't really know anything about him other than just movies he's been in. Yeah, but he, I, for some reason, I get the image that he doesn't lead the most health conscious life. Um, but he's still pretty young. Yeah, like he's you know? he's definitely got age on his side. So that's more of a fifty fifty. I just like 
I was staring at that Army of Darkness thing you got on the desk there, and I was thinking maybe Bruce. You're like he has. So he's like not that in thirty years. Yeah, it's not like a crazy thing if that happened, but no, absolutely. Yeah, that was not. a fifty-fifty. Let's let's think of a. I would not a, say a long yeah. Shot. Another like we're talking real long shots here. I got one for you, okay? Mm. Kanye West. You think? I'm thinking. You think I, he's going to be so devastated from the Kim thing? I. You know what? Because here's the thing. I don't know enough about like their relationship. Um, I do know obviously that they they've split, and I'm not sure if he was like crazy about her or what. Like I don't I don't know anything other than they were together. From what I understand, I think he's like. He needs to take meds, and he doesn't do that. Exactly. And uh, Kim was like, yeah, I'm going to like leave with the kids. And then he bought a house across the street from them, probably to be like in their life still, but it's still kind of creepy. Yeah, it's a little too close. So you could be in their life you know, a couple blocks away. But, yeah, I mean, I'm not rich. I don't know how that shit works. Yeah. But I'm thinking the, the whole him kind of going on and off meds and this happening, I'm thinking that it leads to... Uh, potential issues down the road, and um, it, you think it, they're gonna fall within the year? He's definitely a long shot, like a hundred percent long shot. But he, again, we're talking percentages this this year. Okay, we're talking what are the odds? I'm giving him like a two to three percent chance of death, and that might seem very minuscule, but it, it's up from what it usually is. You know, there you go. It's up. Yeah. It's up. It's up there. Um, but yeah, so I'm thinking Kanye, he's a decent long shot. He's been struggling. Um, and I feel like the fame that plays a factor too. Cause you know, at a certain point it's got to get tiring, you know? Oh, of course. Yeah. It absolutely has to get tiring. And then you think he was with Kim Kardashian. What is he going to do now? You know, it's like, you can't just like get on like a dating app. You're Kanye West, you know, like, I mean, he could, maybe he's just going to go like solo that. for a while. Like that'd be fine. But maybe that's not for him. I don't know what this guy's like, so his percentages are going up. All right, yeah, no, that makes sense. It's just a drastic life change. Um, yeah, Kanye, he's up there. He's maybe not up there, but he's on the long shot board for sure. But I'm sorry. What do you think is going to happen to him? Like kill him? Because like he, yeah, chances are he's going to like go insane. I have no idea. But I have no you're assumption. Just, you're just like <laughs> it's not looking good mentally. I think he's going to die. <laughs> It's like, not like he's a, gonna do something like a poor decision being made, or just like eating the wrong food. Uh, get some horrible like dysentery. I don't even think that's an issue anymore. Kanye but has died of dysentery. It's like a fucking Oregon Trail. He is like a trendsetter, you know. So that would really bring that back. That would bring dysentery back. But yeah, he uh, there, there's just something about that that makes me nervous, and I'm. Yeah, I'm not ready to see him go yet. I'm not even a big fan, but I'll tell you this. I don't want to see him leave. I liked his last album. So he can stay, but he's on the board. And I'm, make, it's, I'm, I'm making you guys think now. You guys are like, maybe he's right. Maybe he's got a point. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. The, the year will unfold. It will. We'll see what happens. We'll reconvene in a year, and we'll figure out if he's still here. Yeah. Betty White won't be. We know that. No, she's gone. Uh, what about uh, Justin Trudeau? Is he the Canadian? Yeah, is his first name Justin? I just know Trudeau. Yeah, I, wanted, I think it is. I know who you're talking about. Justin. What a stupid name for a fucking, like, politician. <laughs> yeah, hi, I'm Justin. Ah, Governor Justin. He's a... I, see, I don't know a whole bunch about Canadian politics, but I know he's very divisive. Yeah, a lot, isn't he, like, super liberal leaning and a lot of people give him shit for that yeah he's like aggressive progressive if that's a thing <laughs> he looks like kendall dude look at that <laughs> he does he looks like if robert downey jr never did drugs his hair is made of play-doh man like if yeah if rd rdj could stay could have stayed queen his whole life he would look very similar to justin trudeau for yeah. sure i've just never seen a picture of him where he isn't like smirking a little bit kind of like putin but yeah. less in like a devious way he's just kind of like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is everything's gonna be fine. Guys. My name, everything's Justin. gonna be totally fine. Yeah, that, I, I get what you mean. So you know, he seems pretty relaxed. A lot of stress is not there. So maybe he gets assassinated from from uh, yeah from his leanings. Who knows? I'll tell you what, that would really alter my view of Canada. If I don't they, think it's gonna happen if they were to assassinate their like whatever. What? Because what? What's his technical title? Let's let's go back. I don't know. Uh, like I said, I don't know how they do their shit up there. Prime Minister. Okay. 
I wanted to say that, but I was like, if I'm wrong, I will sound like a complete American. So I just lie, I told you the truth and said I didn't know. Yeah. It yeah. doesn't make it a lot better, but at least you guys know that I'm on your team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't know. Justin Trudeau. That's, that's Justin true. Trudeau, why not? That's a that's a good one. That's a good one. I'm going to go. I kind of went. I went sports. I went music. You know. Okay. We're gonna move into the Hollywood. The Hollywood. Okay. Okay. And you know who I'm thinking? This one's gonna upset the the memers out there and just the regular old like your run of the mill goth YouTubers. Don't you say it. Michael Sarah. Wow. Michael Sarah. Why? I have no valid reason. <laughs> I have none. I know nothing about anything that is going to happen to that man. But I will tell you this. I'm I'm starting to think his chances, they're progressing for some reason. I Why? I don't know. But they are. <laughs> it's just a feeling you have. And I'm thinking. We don't even have any idea what's going to happen. No, it's, like, it'll be. It's it'll just be, a hunch. I don't know. Maybe he might not even drink. I don't know this guy remotely. But I'm going to say alcohol poisoning. That it, That's what it's wow. going to be. It's a very simple, very, you know, run-of-the-mill. Uh, it's just going to happen one day, and Pazambo, he's he's gone. He's he's done. Wow. How about that? I, phew, shit. And I'll stick with Hollywood one more time. And this one, this is the one that could kind of, he was, he was sort of in the 50-50, but I moved him down one just because of kind of like the personality he has. I feel like, even if he's not the healthiest of people, he's definitely more relaxed about it, which, you know, eases stress and might extend your life. Bill Murray. Oh. Bill Murray will die he, of heart disease. He could probably be a 50-50 there. Right? That's what I see. Yeah. I, he was, like, on the cusp. He is literally straddling the line between the two, and um, I moved him down only because... I feel like it's not his time. Like he's still gonna be here. He's got like you know, there's other shit he's got to do. But I'm thinking it's gonna be something with the heart, and I'm 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 gonna maybe maybe it'll be by the end of the calendar year of 2022. Wow. That my two Hollywood projections were very. One of them was a really extreme long shot. The other one's kind of a more. You can make that shot if you really try, yeah. you know? Yeah. But, yeah, Bill Murray's not looking too hot for me. I think he's at the bottom. Oh, God. <laughs> I think he's at the bottom. I'm thinking he is. <laughs> That's thinking he is. devastating way to phrase it. Uh, well, What else who, who, who do I got? You know, maybe that, that Chalamet boy. The Timothy, you know? What? His name's Timmy, I think. It's uh, Timmy Chalamet. He was in the new Dune movie. Oh, the young, like the main guy? Yeah, Mr. Hare. Oh, you know? okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know the face. Yeah. I didn't know the name. Mr. Hare in like pentagonal chin. Okay, yeah, no, you know? No. I know guy. exactly who you're talking about. He kind of, he looks like a young David almost. He kind of does. <laughs> like, it's Shout not out that David in the old, Navy. but like he looks like a young version of David. Yeah, no, I can see that. Um, yeah, if you ever want to know what our buddy David looks like, just w- look at that guy. And Timothy like, Chalamet. Yeah, yeah. like if David was like a billionaire and just had access to like the finest tr- skin treatment teams and like every treatment in the world where they can yeah. give you fake skin and hair and all this shit, he looks fake, this guy. David is, is a saying. Guatemalan, uh, uh, Timothy Chalamet. Yeah, he, this this Timothy Chal- Chalamet or Shaloman. He, Shalom. He he seems fake to me. Like he looks robotic almost. So if you know, you gotta get past the robotics, but I can imagine he's attractive. You know, I can see it. I see where the I see where the ladies are coming from. There you go. All right. I don't know right. how he's gonna die. But, It'll happen. But you know, long shot, you know. I got one final long shot, and this is another you can, it's another border rider here. It's a 50 50 year, but uh, he's long shot for me. Jerry Seinfeld. Oh. Yeah. I could see that more on the long shot side. Yeah. Because, you know, he's like, he's like no shit with anybody, including probably every aspect of his life, you know? Yeah. He's like, there, there's no shit that's going to be dealt with here. We're just going to do it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. He, he seems very like, 
just very stern. I, that's yeah. like the best way to put it. He's very specific. He's like, no, it's going to be this, 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 and this, and this is exactly how it's going to play out. Uh, but so I that, think he's got the next couple of years, man. I, yeah. He's got everything too planned. He probably has his death planned out. And he's like, that's when it's going to happen. It'll happen in 2031. We just need to get his prediction for himself. But, yeah, I'm thinking Jerry. That's my final guess of the year. That is Jerry Seinfeld. Is I'm not thinking he's going to make it through. He could, He probably will, but there's a chance that he won't. And you know what? I told you so. There you go. That's yeah. what I got to say. I told Jesus you so. Jesus Christ. Uh, I feel like I should have one more. I'm All just right. going to try to think of one off the, off the top. Throw us, see, this is the fun with the long shot. It's like it, you never know. It could be anything. It could be anything. Yeah. Yeah. Here, wait a minute. Poppin' Fresh. <laughs> He's gone. He's dead. The fictional character <laughs> the, will be the, dead. The Halloween movie franchise. It's like, no, that's... No, that would be a long shot. Um, what else? What else we got? Drake. I'm gonna say just Drake. How about that? Really? Yeah. He's yeah. That's a good one. That's one. He's you gonna don't bleed think out of. from a, a barber carving that stupid like heart in his hair uh, with a straight razor. Interesting. That's a that's a wild death too. That one's gonna hurt. That suck. I hope it doesn't happen. That's gonna be the worst of the year without question. Like that's brutal. Yeah. Uh, that man will get the same treatment as Michael Jackson's doctor and certainly be put in prison. Yes. So there you have it, the death predictions. Those are the death predictions for the year. What now, do you think is going to happen just like in general? I was just going to say, instead yeah. of sticking to death, we can move forward in a positive or negative way. We can discuss well, the possibly the, the outlooks that we have for the next year. Um I'll go ahead. I'm going to throw out uh, just a couple of things here. Okay. Are right. you guys yeah. ready? Yeah, do it. Go ahead. Uh, in the summer of 2022, the Golden State Warriors are going to win the NBA championship. That's just, that's just what's going to happen. Um, I'm thinking this is a long shot bet. The San Francisco Giants are going to win the World Series. Okay. All right. Those are my sports predictions. Uh, football, I kind of don't want to do because you get that. I mean, basketball, you have sort of an advantage, but we're real early in the year. Football, we're at the end, so I don't want to make a guess here. But I guess for the sake of evenness, I'll do it. Uh, I'm going to say Tom Brady's going to win it again. I mean, that's just... Maybe. How do you not? How do you not bet How do you not? <laughs> like, you got to trust. You got to What are believe. the teams going into the finals right now? Is it like, or playoffs? Um, I'm not, gonna, I'm not sure if I have all of them. The wild card's still up for debate, but like the Buccaneers, the Bills, the Chiefs, the Packers. Um, let's see who else. So all the ones that are like kind of predictable. Yeah, the Bengals, uh, the Cowboys. Those are people that like I can pretty much guarantee get in. Uh, there, I'm certain there will be some fluctuation within the next two weeks, but I I, I missed probably a bunch of teams on that, but I know. Yeah. Those are like the big dogs that are rolling in right now, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, the Rams and the Cardinals. Yeah, I guess you put them in there, too. Cardinals, really, yeah. But, yeah, um, I'm going to – I'm just going to – you can't bet against Tom Brady. You just can't. No, it's hard to, you know – I again, I have him on my fantasy team, so. There you go. I always bet on Tom. Those are the sports predictions for the year for me. Um, I think – this is what I think. I think the first – Three to four months of 2022 are going to be real rough. Um, COVID's going to be, like, real problematic. Uh, we're going to have to deal with a lot of shit. Both the actual virus and, like, kind of the the offshoot of what comes from different laws and rules of the virus. Yeah. Um, there's definitely going to be a lot of turmoil. But then I think come early spring kind of moving into that warmer weather up here in the Midwest, like mid-April into late May, you know, somewhere in that window. It's going to start to ease a little bit, uh, whether it's a real easing or if it's just done because it's like, well, it's the summer, so we got to get rid of COVID. Um, it'll slowly kind of start being cool again. And I'm thinking that by this time next year, we're going to have at least a foolproof treatment or some preventative that, like, actually is a hundred, not maybe a hundred percent, but 
highly effective in keeping you from even getting the virus. And I think it will, 2022 is the year. It's been enough time. We've had some time to study. We've kind of adapted to that life. I think this is the year where we finally are able to get over that hump and kind of move on. Wishful thinking. Yeah. Wishful thinking. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I know it's a positive outlook and you're thinking, what the hell? But I think it can happen. It's not impossible. I'll say that. That's what I think. Um, I'm thinking we're going to have really weird weather this year for some oh, reason. Oh, yeah, dude. It's already, like, insane. Like, it's about to be January, and we've had, like, maybe three or four days under 32. Yeah, it's weird. You know, like, it's, it's, it's fucking crazy. Winter is just offset by so much. Yeah, winter is really pushed back. I'm thinking that it, we're going to have a weird winter in the sense that, like, I'm sure... January and February will probably be pretty standard. You know, it stays cool. There might be a day where it hits 40, but it doesn't really go above that. Um, But it'll be cold and probably wet and a little bit snowy. Um, I'm thinking March is we're going to get like a real heat wave for like three, four days where we're talking like 75 in the middle of March. And I can see that. Yeah. And then like after that, we're all going to think it's time. And then we're going to get hit with, like, a huge, like, fucking 6 to 10-inch snowstorm. And that'll, like, cap off the, the season. You, you know, know what would be kind of crazy? Something that could come of that if that happened? Mm-hmm. is like the, the heat wave would maybe wake up a lot of the bugs. You know, they get they, they start hatching. Yeah. You yeah. know, and then we get a huge snow. They're all just going to fucking die. The ones that aren't in our houses. And then they'll take over our houses. And it will be consumed by yeah. the bugs. But so yeah. maybe no more bugs, and that's not good, right? I'm definitely thinking that it's going to be weird seasons. Um, I have a feeling that the summer is not going to be as brutal as we think, at least in the Midwest. I'm speaking from the Midwest perspective yeah, here. Yeah. Um, typically, like last year, we had some real rough days, like upper 90s, like real hot. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking it's going to be a more mild, like high 70s, low 80s. For the majority of the season. Wouldn't mind that. I'm not sure why I feel that way. I think that's more wishful thinking. But I, there's something about it that's like, yeah, it, it's it's due, you know? Yeah. It's not going to be great swimming weather. I'll tell you that. That's what I think. That's probably the best way I could put that statement. No swimming. Um, What do you think is going to happen with, uh, with like, film? What, what kind of movie do you think is going to take over the box office this year? Film, huh? And I know that's a tough one because this yeah. year, especially with COVID, it's been a struggle yeah. sort of at the box office. Um, but I think the new Spider-Man really, like, kind of showed Hollywood and people like that that, like, people are willing to go to the movies if it's oh, the yeah. right movie. Dude, people went crazy for that movie. Like, if this is a right film, people will weather the storm and get there. Um, so I'm thinking movies are going to make a decent comeback, at least, uh, to the point where they'll be in theaters and like money, significant amounts of money will be made in the industry again. Yeah. It'll probably be revitalized to some degree. I don't know what kind of movies are even coming out. So we'll stick to like a, what genre do you think is going to dominate the box office this year? Ooh. Um, you know what? I'll even go as far as to say second place. Because we know superheroes are still at the top. Like they're superheroes are all, yeah, they're always up there. Um, I'm gonna say just plain old fucking comedies. Really? You know? Because I mean, it's, eh. Well, we've had enough time to where like COVID started and Hollywood was probably just like, oh shit, we're gonna make some stuff to make people feel happy again. You Ooh. know, like maybe maybe giving a or I don't know, maybe fun giving Hollywood too much credit there, but. You know, maybe they're just like, let's start making this fucking movie. And it takes like a long time because, you know, it's like a movie. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, it is a movie. Yeah. Um, I think that's a reasonable bet. Do you think comedies are going to make a good comeback this year? Get some good just... Hopefully, man. Sit around funny, goofy flicks. Yeah. Reminiscent of like the Adam Sandler days in the 90s and like the Will Ferrell days of like... Yeah, I'm talking all kinds of comedy. Regular comedy, stand-up comedy. There's going to be friggin' rom-coms. Oh, rom coms you know, are good. They always are there. They're yeah. present. Um, I th- I'd probably have to bet with you on that one. I think comedy's going to make a good comeback this year. It's time. We, we're ready for it. We need it. Yeah, that's true. Um, 
I mean, what other what other predictions do you have going on for twenty twenty two? Anything big? Anything small? Anything interesting at all? How about that? Oh wow, that was just you're like the Grinch. Hell yeah! Damn right. Uh, let's see. Uh, weather wise, I mean, I think you're probably, probably fucking right. Uh, I think there is going to be a crazy, like, Katrina level historic storm hit somewhere. Ooh. Now, somewhere talking, in the U.S. is what I'm thinking. That's what I was going to ask. Was like, are we thinking U.S. or international? Um, I'm thinking ooh. U.S. or U.S. like adjacent. Okay. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's going to be like Mexico, South America. Yeah, I feel like it might be as catastrophic as Katrina. Ooh, okay, okay. I think the possibilities are high on that because we've been getting. We had like that giant tornado. That was like Thanksgiving, wasn't it? Like yeah, I think Kentucky. yeah. The moment I got home from your place. My phone went off, and then the, the fucking house just started shaking. <laughs> it was like, oh, just wind started, like, just immediately. Like, oh, shit, it hurt. And I was it. like, oh, my God, there's a fucking tornado. It was right outside. Nature saw the text, and they knew it was time to begin. Yeah. I uh, Yeah, I think that's a fair... I think every year we're going to be dealing with stuff like that, just these huge, massive fucking storms. That's going to be... That's going to be big. It's going to be news, obviously. Something's going to happen. I uh, I'm trying to think. I don't really have any more predictions for the year. I mean, I'm sure I mean, things are going to happen, really. but I mean, how, who am I? I'm not Nostradamus. Yeah, we're all we're all just going to have to see. I will say this: I think we're going to see a shift, and I don't have specifics for this. I mean, in population, and I'm talking about the cities. I think one of the major cities in the United States, whether it be uh, we'll even throw Boston in there. We'll do like New York, Boston, Chicago, Houston, L.A. Okay. Yeah. And you know we'll even we'll lump Denver in there because they're growing. So we'll lump Denver in there as well. One of those st- uh, cities is going to see a big drop off in population. Um, and I, I mean, could see that. Yeah. I mean, especially with stuff with like COVID and stuff. Like people are wanting to not be in such tight quarters in the city and mm-hmm. kind of go to the suburbs where they can spread out. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I think those that's are, a gun. They are, and you know Yeah, those why? are guns. Uh, it's customary around here. People, like, shoot their guns off on New Year's. And I didn't know that last year, so I was panicking. I was like, those are gunshots. But uh, don't worry. You hear that? It's all good. That's just what happens here. It's yeah. It's, they're, I don't think they're going to hit us on purpose. No, we'll be fine. And you know what? If we're not, we'll just make a lot of money. Maybe. From somebody. There you somebody go. Somebody will give us money. Hell yeah. Um, but anyways, back to what we were saying. The drop-off in population, it's going to happen. Uh, it's not going to be death-related or anything. I think COVID will play a part in it, but I, I see I see a significant dip in the numbers in one of those cities in the year to come. There you go. Yeah. Um, that That's my final prediction for the year. I mean, we got a lot of empty space for cities to disperse into. We really you do. Know? I mean, if, if you've ever been to the middle of this country. You ever been to nothing. Nebraska? There's nothing. Absolutely nothing is there. You could literally build hundreds of thousands of apartments, and you can have an entire city there. And it really, if anything, it would just make business go up over there, and they'd be like, this is kind of nice. This is pretty sweet. I'm yeah. making a lot of money now. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I think I think that's the year wrap-up episode. I think so, yeah. We made some predictions. We made some, uh, yeah, that's all we did. We just made some predictions. We did, a, yeah, we went full-fledged predictions. I kind of like this. It's a fun little tradition that we do here. I like here. It. it. It makes things, it reminds you that the year is over and we're moving into a new realm of year and new things are going to happen. Yeah. So times are going to change. Things are going to evolve and We'll see what happens. We'll be here to cover any weird news we run into, obviously. Yeah, we're here every week. You guys know that. You've been with us for three years. Yes, you have. And we missed the last week. I think that was the first missed week since we started doing these episodes regularly. Yeah, like weekly. Yeah, so, We would either just record early or record or post it the next day or something. But we we never missed a week. No, but yeah, we Christmas just fell at a bad time. Uh, the good news is next year it won't interfere with the schedule, hopefully, because it, it it's not going to fall on that day. So we should be all good. We should be totally fine. But, uh, yeah, you guys have a great new year. And yeah, happy yourself. new year. If you have any cool uh, resolutions for the year, uh, let us know. We'll, we'll, you know. If they're cool, maybe we'll share. Maybe you had a really interesting thing you want to do this year. I don't know. Yeah, we'll talk about it. 
But yeah, we will be back <sighs> next week. We'll be starting a new episode. Um, Yawn it. It'll, it'll be an actual topic next week. Uh, not, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not sure what it is yet. Nope, not yet. But we'll figure it out, and it'll be a great start to the new year. Yes, it will come your way. So enjoy, and have yourselves a great new year, everybody. Yeah. We love you. Yes, okay. Uh, you can follow us on all the shit. Uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and uh, YouTube. We're on there. We got some comments on a YouTube on a bunch of YouTube videos, actually, recently, and it made us very... Uh, feel good yes it did i um we have two new fans from the youtube era uh if you're listening to this here maybe you're on youtube now what's up yeah welcome how's welcome. it going we love it we love you guys yeah. you guys are fantastic people and it doesn't sound like much just like single comments and stuff but it means the world to us it does like we're just <laughs> like, you know it very rarely it. do people like talk to us sometimes through email which we appreciate those all, all the time start a cult at gmail.com absolutely it yeah. makes us extremely enticed we want to know what you want we, we want to know, know how you, you feel yeah you listen that's why we love you there's also a link to the patreon below where you can listen even more that you to can. me and grant every other week i just t- kind of talk about whatever pretty much yeah we figured we it just out. recorded one last night it's awesome so yeah, there's a link below for that, and yeah, we are starting a cult that's Granum Jake. We will be back next year, y'all. Bye. Goodbye. New Year's bananas.